Hey guys, it's Claudia. Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been quite a while since I've last talked to you guys, so I'm really excited to be back with another video. Um, essentially, uh, the past couple of months that I've been away, I've just been really busy with school, to be honest. There's no other excuse, really. This is my sort of creative outlet, and I'm just really excited. I've been planning videos for you guys this whole time that I've been away. Um, I've just really missed making YouTube videos. Essentially, I'm making a uh, kind of thrifted luxury collection video for you guys. So I'm going to be showing you pieces that I've thrifted over the past while that are generally, you know, like considered high-end pieces. These pieces are really key to my wardrobe, to my style, um, and that's why I want to share them with you guys today. So without further ado, I'm going to get into it, and I hope you guys enjoy. If you do, be sure to like and subscribe for more. So the first thing I have is a recent find that I have not worn yet, but I'm super excited to wear. It's this Deanne von Furstenberg uh, DBF top, and this just gives me total like 2000s vibes, and I love the colors on this, which is what draw drew me to it when I saw it on the rack. Um, it's this gorgeous chocolate brown color, like very light pink, uh, light gray, and kind of cream color, and it's essentially, um, it's like a tube top. It's 100% silk, and then it has the halter tie at the top, so it's just a really comfy, super breezy piece for the summer, um, and I think it's just gorgeous. So this is Donna Karen New York, um, so it still has kind of the original uh, label. And this piece is so, so comfortable and it's so flattering on. Um, it has like a very delicate sort of collar, like it's very flexible. Um, and in that way, it kind of has a very like loose uh, fit. I wore it with some black Levi's shorts and Harley Davidson leather boots. So I wore it kind of more edgy, um, which I really liked as well. It's totally my style. So I think it's a very versatile top, which is amazing. The next piece I have is this Versace piece. And this one I'm not entirely sure if it's authentic. Um, the uh, sort of, like the style of it, the material is very, very soft and like definitely good quality. It's definitely a really nice kind of breezy top. Again, it's super flattering on. Um, the neckline is just kind of open, but it has the buttons for kind of adjustable wear. And I mean, the logo is definitely not subtle. Um, but I do think it's a really beautiful top. The next piece, this is probably one of the first like high-end pieces I've ever thrifted and I've had it for a long time and it, like it's it's a little more casual than the other pieces but I don't know it kind of just has like a place special place in my heart and so this is Vivian Westwood from the red label. I think someone tried to like rip the tag off or I'm not sure what happened and the pattern is a little bit more um, I guess like wild than what I'm used to, but I just thought it was really pretty. Um, before I even noticed the label, I saw the embroidered, uh, like logo for Vivian. And, um, I don't know, I just thought it was really special. The next piece I found, um, again, this piece is kind of special to me because it was totally unexpected. Um, I actually got this Dolce & Gabbana top, um, in Poland. What caught my eye with this one was the trim. I thought the lime green and black uh, was really really interesting and it says, what does it say? Uh, Propylene Vixen. So yeah, it's just a really cool kind of chic sleepwear piece. So with the accessories, um, coincidentally there's a couple DKNY pieces. The first thing I got is this DKNY bag and it's new with tags. Oops. New with tags. It's literally like this charcoal gray um, felt fabric which again just caught my eye. It was just very different um, and it has this leather trim here and on the strap and then the logo is kind of this, I guess it's like this rubbery like jelly kind of material. Um, I just thought it was really cool and it closes with like a magnet. It's actually a really strong magnet, like it's a very structured and sturdy bag, um, which I absolutely love. I found two pairs of like high-end sunglasses. So these ones are DKNY as well. Um, they're a gorgeous chocolate brown color. They are kind of like a classic style. Um, and yeah, I, I don't know, I just really like them. I think these would be really cute, like I have been really into the chocolate brown kind of color, like even with this 
um, silk scarf. I feel like they're just really, really pretty. Another pair of sunglasses, and these ones, again, are just really, really classic, which is what drew me to them. They happen to be Gucci, which is really cool. It says Gucci made in Italy. It has the serial number and everything. They're a little more like ovally than the other ones. The other ones are a little more square, um, but it has like a really subtle symbol on the side. I think they're really cute. Uh, they're just very simple and definitely go with a lot of pieces as well. So the next piece I have is actually a men's belt from Christian Dior. Uh, again, it's leather, it's really great quality. And I just thought it was a very classic like black belt and it has uh, the gold buckle which is also just very um, simple but kind of classy so I really love this piece. The next thing I have is another DKNY piece and this is a wallet. It's a monogrammed wallet. It's very similar um, like style wise and uh, capacity wise to the wallet I'm using right now and so I'm definitely going to switch it over soon because mine's starting to fall apart but I just thought it was a really classy piece as well. And the next piece I found is one of the most exciting pieces I've found, to be honest. Um, this one, I this is the one I was saying, I'm not entirely sure if it's authentic, just because it's missing the label inside, but it looks like someone actually took the tag off. It's this really amazing Fendi bag. The monogram, I'm just not entirely sure about that F, but if you do know, please let me know. Even the lining inside has the Fendi logo um, and the kind of monogram. Can't be 100% sure, but I do really love this piece. So the next piece I found, um, I'm gonna show you just quickly because I do think I showed it in a thrift haul um, sometime, I guess, last year. Um, so it's a DKNY classic piece. This is 100% silk, vintage DKNY, and it's this gorgeous uh, wine-colored, long, long, long um, silk dress, and it has these very subtle white polka dots. So the next piece I found is 100% authentic and vintage, which I was really, really excited for. This is Diane von Furstenberg, DVF. Um, it's a vintage piece, like it has the really classic like old tags. It's a gorgeous herringbone pattern, like black and white skirt. It is a little big on me, so I think what I'll do is fix it up a bit and sell it on my Depop. So if you're interested in it, comment below and I'll fix it up sooner so that I can post it for you. But um, it's a size 10, and again, I mean, it's really, really classic Diane von Furstenberg, and I mean, I think it's such a gorgeous, just really classy skirt. I found this amazing, amazing piece, and this is Oscar de la Renta, literally Oscar de la Renta, um, and it's this beautiful black skirt, and then it has the sort of uh, slit near the bottom, um, and then it has these gorgeous big, um, like, chocolate brown kind of tortoise um, uh, buttons and I don't know it's just so classy it's so versatile again and I think it's honestly perfect for the summer. I found a YSL literally made in Italy um, Yves Saint Laurent skirt and I haven't worn it yet I haven't even washed it yet because I'm so scared of ruining it and it has these ties on it as part of the sort of wrap style that it is so you can definitely like tie it up and kind of tighten it to um, to fit you. So I think it's just really, really flattering. Um, it has like the lettuce cut bottom, which I think is also just very like delicate and pretty. And the color is really gorgeous. The next piece is this jacket and this is DKNY as well. Um, it's this gorgeous red uh, leather jacket. It has this kind of um, perforations like on the back, like on the sides. So it is actually like a pretty breezy and like light leather jacket, which I think is really good for like spring into summer on cooler nights or something and definitely into the fall. Um, and it's kind of like a rusty red color. Hey guys, so it's still me, but I'm popping in at a different time now, as you see. I'm filming it again because I found some really amazing pieces that I just couldn't not include in this video. Um, but I'm actually leaving for the weekend, that's why I'm kind of like just showered in a vintage tea and ready to go. Uh, so I'm gonna do this quick little jump in, uh, show you the pieces, and yeah, that'll be it for the video. The first thing is a pair of sunglasses. They're like a lime green color and they kind of like fade. Um, I haven't washed them yet or anything, but they're Dolce & Gabbana. Um, made in Italy and I just thought they were, they were really cool. They're like the exact kind of style that I've been wearing a lot recently, but 
I just thought they were really unique. I found this super last minute as I was waiting by the cash register to pay. Um, and it's this beautiful Chanel pin. Um, I have no idea if this is authentic or not. I kind of love how simple it is uh, to, I don't know, put on like a denim dress or to add on to some sort of like fabric purse. I don't know, I just thought it was beautiful. So the next three pieces that I found are all Versace and I don't know, I was just at a loss for words to be honest when I had all three of these um, in my hands when I was leaving the thrift store. Like it was such a good trip um, and it was such a coincidence that I found like all five of these pieces on one trip. This is a vintage piece, um, it's Gianni Versace Couture and it's 100% silk, yep 100% silk. Um, and it's this gorgeous skirt. Um, I don't know, I love the colors of it first of all. I just thought it was such a beautiful skirt even though it's not my size. So the next piece I found, um, this one I'm gonna put up on my Depop, like I'm almost positive because it's not something that I need. I just thought it was kind of cool to find and um, I figured someone else will enjoy it. It's another Versace piece and it's just this tank top. It's kind of like an off-white color and it has the logo on the front um, and kind of like some rhinestones and stuff around it and this is one of their like Versace sport pieces uh, according to the tags. And the last but not least thing I have to show you guys is a pair of Versace jeans couture and these are not my size again. I bought these purposely to sell because I thought they were just a really great find. These Versace jeans couture um, pair of pants and they're kind of like mom jeans. They have the little um, like the logo and then there's like the Versace logo on the side just stitched in there and then the back of course uh, which is just a little bit worn like the sort of leather around it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, again this is just my sort of high-end uh, for the most part vintage pieces uh, kind of collection and it's all thrifted um, or bought secondhand in general so I think it's just a special collection of clothes. Um, I'll be making more videos soon uh, if you have any videos in particular that you'd like to see from me, let me know down below or message me on Instagram because I'm probably gonna get to your message faster. I'll just, you know, like the notifications will be a lot faster. So just let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye.